Welcome to Nobel Prize Dialogue Pretoria. It is our first Nobel Prize Dialogue in Africa and we have people around the globe watching. Today, five Nobel laureates are joining us together with other accomplished speakers to talk about the future of work. The current pandemic has made us think about how we will work in the future, how our working life will be, but also about how we want it to be and about what skills we need to develop for building more resilient and inclusive societies. If we are to solve our big challenges, such as climate change, health issues and inequality, we need to invest in scientific research, but also in technological innovation. But intellectual excellence is not enough. We need to improve our social and emotional skills, such as respect for others, empathy and kindness. I hope this day will inspire you to discover new ideas, stimulate you to ask new questions, questions that you hadn't thought about before. It is in this spirit that we organize Nobel Prize Dialogue, where we have informed cross-sector discussions about our big global challenges. It is a joy to virtually be in South Africa celebrating human achievements and imagination within science, humanities and peace work in the spirit of the Nobel Prize. Also to celebrate the South Africans that have been awarded the Nobel Prize, such as Nelson Mandela, Albert Lutuli, Nadine Gordimer and Max Taylor. To conclude, I would like to thank our Nobel International Partners for your long-term commitment. Our friends at the University of Pretoria for this great collaboration. My outstanding colleagues led by Lena Abramson and Adam Smith. To you all joining us from around the world, enjoy the session. Thank you very much indeed, Lara. And now it's my pleasure to welcome Tawana Coupe, who is the Vice-Chancellor and Principal of the University of Pretoria. Thank you, Adam and Laura. This is certainly a good morning, afternoon and evening to all of you who have joined us here at the University of Pretoria from more than 100 countries as we gather to invest the day in one of the most important dialogues of our time, the future of work. Thank you to everyone of you who have committed your time and remarkable human capital and credentials to address an issue that directly affects every person on our continent and in the world. To host the Nobel Prize Dialogues for the first time in Africa is enormously important. It means that Africa has joined the critical conversations on current major issues that are both local and global. It further means Africa's voices will be part of the discourses shaping the choices that will influence the future of work. We chose the theme of this dialogue, the future of work, because we face what the International Labour Organization describes as the global mega trends sweeping across the world and encountering economies and societies at vastly different stages of development with widely diverging capacities to take advantage of ever advancing technology. As the Vice Chancellor of a leading research intensive university, this excites me because Universities are at the forefront of this revolution that has been accelerated by the COVID-19 pandemic. The University of Pretoria is launching a center for the future of work to research the emerging world of work and create knowledge about it that can inform policies, regulations and practices for our country, continent and world to be future fit. Addressing the future of work for broader society, universities are proactively researching digitalization and the new normal for working life in a variety of ways, including whether the future of work will be largely remote, a return to the pre-COVID era, or a hybrid approach. The latter is the most likely, 
and we need to engender an entirely new work-life culture for this. With technology as an equalizer, enabler of productivity, employment, and lifelong learning for all citizens. The past year has revealed that online meetings in a digitalized world not only save time, it also facilitates greater national and international communication in an increasingly borderless world. In the context of Africa and the Global South, it's imperative that we address the digital divide. Connectivity and data affordability are major challenges, and we need to focus on bridging this divide and ensuring access to digital technologies for the majority. We must be careful that digital technologies do not act as an enabler to deepening inequality and discrimination. This requires an active human social shaping hand to get the best out of the potential of the technology. At the same time, we need to hold governments accountable in realizing access to universal broadband as an enabler for the future of work, education, and access to information and basic services. We also need corporates, internet service providers, and mobile communications companies to play their part in contributing to affordable data that is available and accessible for all. Successfully scaling Africa's demographic dividend will be a major contributor to human capital needed to drive the world's development, ensuring full and productive employment and decent work for all as SDG 8 calls for. How we achieve this is in our hands. It's a gigantic, highly stimulating challenge. Just as today is Africa's first time to stage the Nobel Prize dialogues, I can confidently say Africa will embrace the opportunities to benefit from the emerging world of work, contributing from its context unique perspectives and approaches. I look forward to hearing your contributions today. Thank you.